Oh, I didn't know you kept bees, Jerry. How many have you got? 232? Oh look, Albert's found you some more. Ah, there you go. 95 more bees for your hive. So how many have you got in total now? Ah, don't worry, we can use number columns. Number columns allow you to select large numbers and add them together easily. It does this by breaking the sum down into place value headings and then adding the numbers together in each column separately. First the ones, in this case 5 and 2. Adding those numbers together we get 7. 7 is the final number of our total. Righto, on to the tens. Adding together 9 and 3 gives us 12. This number is made of two digits, one ten and two ones. When this happens, you take the ones and put them into our final total and carry the tens over into the next sum. We only have one number in the hundreds column, so we simply add the remaining number to that. And then, boom, we've worked out you've got 327 bees in your hive, all with the help of number columns. See, Albert? They're not so bad. Ah, uh, right. No problem, just, uh, run! We're hunting down some number bonds. Number bonds are a pair of numbers that add up to another specific number. Let's try tracking down as many number bonds as we can for the number 10. There you go, 6 and 4. Once added together, they create the number 10. As do 5 and 5. Now let's have a go at finding some of the number bonds for the number 20. 10 and 10 work. And 12 and 8. And many more. The higher the number, the more number bonds it will have. You can't always use a calculator or a pen and paper to work out a sum. Sometimes you have to work it out in your head. Sometimes it's even faster. There is only one rule when it comes to mental maths. If it works for you, then do it. But here are some suggestions to get you going. It's easier to add together whole groups of 10. So we can put this 6 to one side and that gives us 50. Don't throw that 6 away though, we're going to need it later. Now we're left with 20 plus 50, which gives us 70. Now let's bring that 6 back and we have our total. You can use whole groups of 10 to make subtraction simpler as well. If we change this 8 to a 10 by counting on 2, we make it easier to subtract. Just remember to hold on to that 2. So 46 take away 10 equals 36. Now add on our final 2 to give us our answer of 38. Also, with subtraction you can count on from the lowest number to the highest to find your answer. So with 30 minus 27, you can count on from 27 to 30 to give you the answer of 3. Very impressive, Albert. <clears throat> you two made a film. Wow, impressive. Oh dear, people don't seem to be enjoying it, do they? That's all right. We can use number columns to figure out how many people are still here. Number columns allow you to take large numbers and subtract one from another easily. It does this by breaking the sum down into different place values and then subtracting those numbers away from one another separately. So 92 tickets were sold and 27 people have left. We start by putting the original number on top. Righto, start with the column on the right. In this case, it's the ones. Because two is smaller than seven, we need to borrow a 10 from the next number along. So 12 take away seven gives us five. Now onto the tens. Eight take away two gives us six. And there you have it. 65 people still think your film is worth watching. Not bad. Ah, uh, guess not. Hello, Snoot. Hello, Finn. What a great sandcastle. You're going to decorate it as well. What with? Lesser spotted sparkle shells. Very decorative. How many shells do you have? 
you've got five sparkle shells, Snoot. And Finn, you've got seven. How many shells is that altogether? Uh, uh. Don't worry, Snoot. A handy way of working out five add seven is to make ten first. Take your five shells, Snoot, and add five from Finn's seven, which equals ten. That leaves two shells left over. So just add two to ten, and what do you get? Twelve shells altogether. Oh, right, Finn. You only need six shells to decorate your sandcastle. That means you can take away six from twelve and just leave the rest. How many does that leave? OK, Finn. You want to take away six from twelve by counting back through ten as well. Twelve minus two equals ten. So to get ten, just take two of the six shells away. That leaves you with four shells to take away. And what's ten take away four? That's right, six. Uh -huh. But how do you know which shells to use and which to leave? Ah, uh, maybe you should just leave them all. Can you count in fives all the way to 30 from zero and back again, whilst bobbing up and down? Ready? Zero. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Whew. And back. Thirty. Twenty-five. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Zero. Phew! Let's count in twos from zero all the way to twenty whilst patting your head. Ready? Zero. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Good job. Let's go back to zero. Ready? 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, Zero. Really good job. Well done.